Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Structure Deck for the question today. So thank you Angels. Wow, jump straight out. What do we need to be focusing on today? So one card jumped across the room. The first card is what's next for the connection? What's next for the connection? So you may be thinking what's next for me and my twin? What's coming next in the connection? And what's blocking or challenging the connection? And what's working for the connection? Very, very powerful here. What's working for the connection? Now, there's two cards moving on top of the deck. Three cards, actually, as well. So I'm going to take them because I feel these could be symbols of what's helping. Because you're asking, what's next for the connection? What's working for the connection? And what's challenging the connection? So really, that's like the negative and positive you know, the dark and the light, because you're saying, what's next for the connection? What's the challenge or what's the block? And what's actually working for the connection? And then we've got three cards that moved on top of the deck, four cards. But okay, there's five cards moving on top of the deck here. Let me just put this deck to one side because I feel these could be symbols. So the first thing we've got, look at this, we've got Gemini energy. So Gemini energy could be working for the connection. Because we're moving into Gemini energy and this is an energy where, you know, things are changing. What I'm actually feeling, I'm just looking at what these cards are because we've also got Aquarius energy. So it feels like between Gemini energy and Aquarius energy, there's going to be some huge shifts and powerful changes taking place. And if you look at the energy here, because... You know, this is just extra little cards. They moved on top. This is not part of the reading per se. It's more a helping energy. So the energy of gratitude. Look what she's doing there. She's opening the curtains or she's opening the doors and she's breathing in the new day and she's feeling excited. And in Aquarius energy, she's surrendering that, holding her hands up, saying, I'm excited for what's coming. I'm excited for what's next. I'm excited. So between Gemini and Aquarius season, you know, I'm seeing this as power coming in. What are they thinking? So what's challenging the connection and what's working for the connection is what they're thinking. You may be thinking, well, their thinking is blocking the connection because they're overthinking. But it's also working for the connection because they're working out what to do. They're thinking about timings. You may be thinking about timings. Timings could be blocking the connection because you're thinking... When's it going to happen? You know, when are we going to be together? Or you're getting annoyed by the when. So the timings are getting in the way. But they're actually working for the connection because they are in divine timing. So it's all about perception. It's the way you see the journey that makes it light or dark, negative or positive, good or bad. It's the way you see it as, is this working for the connection? Or is this working against the connection? Because everything is working for the highest good. And divine guidance for reunion. So I feel that this is also a message coming through about reunion. So I'm going to put these cards to one side because they were just something a little bit extra. And if I go to the divine timing deck as well, this is my deck divine timing. And I bring up the actual dates as well for Aquarius and Gemini because I'm feeling there's always, you know, a big sign in there when I'm connecting with them. But you've got the Aquarius energy there. And this may mean something to someone watching as well who is an Aquarius or a Gemini. It feels like between the 21st of May, which is coming very soon, and the 18th of February next year, huge things are happening. And, you know, this really resonates with what I've been talking about lately with changes between now and February. We're very well aware this year that this is a year of building a year of communication, a year of endings of separations and coming together. And we're very aware that in 2024, it's going to be about union. It's going to be about big things coming in. So that's what I'm going to connect with. What's challenging the connection? What's working for the connection? And what's next for it? So I'm going to bring in, to do this, the Ocean of Emotion cards. This is a great deck by Bridget Rowe. So what's challenging the connection right now? What's challenging the connection? Jump straight out, okay? And what's next for the connection? What's next for the connection? I've got two cards. And what's working for the connection? Jump straight out on the floor. Jump straight out on the floor here. Wow. Okay. And it's really powerful because earlier today, I did a reading. Let me just pop these here. Earlier today, I did a reading and... 
we use the Angel Blessings deck. You know, this was what I used for the feminines. And I've just found a card under the table. So everything happens for a reason. This was clearly meant to come through here. So what's working for the connection? Look at this. Unconditional love. This really resonates with the reading from earlier today. Love does not hold any records of wrongs because love does not judge your whole grudges. Now, the angels blow my mind. Okay, if that card from the Ocean of Emotion deck hadn't have dropped on the floor, I wouldn't have seen this card. So this card really resonates with the feminine message today because it's all about unconditional love. But clearly this card was meant to come through now to remind you that this is a journey of unconditional love and that love does not hold any record of wrongs. So really what can block the connection is when we hold that record of wrongs. When we go over the things they've done or the time it's taken or we go over the past and we're not forgiving. We're holding on to the pain or the resentment and that blocks the connection. What works for the connection is forgiveness. Love does not hold any record of wrongs because love does not judge your whole grudges. So learning how to let go of the past and be in the now. Learning how to forgive, to not judge, to understand that everything happens for a reason. So... What's challenging the connection, look at this, envy, envy, every single day I feel worse about myself and my choices, so what blocks the connection is envy, jealousy, and jealousy is a real big one we have to heal, especially as a divine feminine, but the masculines go through jealousy too, because they don't feel good enough or worthy. And you can see there you've got kind of a small man and a bigger man. So I'm seeing this as the masculine needs to rise up to meet you on your level. Because when they don't feel worthy of you, they feel envious of others because they feel that others can give you more than they can. They feel envious of others because they feel that they will treat you better because of the mistakes they've made and the things they've done in the past. So he's saying, every day I'm feeling worse about myself and my choices. So this is really the masculines beating themselves up about the things they've done, feeling bad because they're in a karmic relationship or feeling that things aren't changing. And this can be you as well, Divine Feminine, when you feel things aren't changing. You know, listen to the words, every single day I feel worse about myself and my choices. So we can turn that around. So what works for the connection is when we say, okay, I'm not going to feel this way anymore. Every single day I feel good about myself and my choices because I can make better choices. I can choose to feel happy, choose to feel worthy, choose to feel excited about life. And as a feminine, we can choose to let go of the record of wrongs because love does not judge your whole grudges. So this is really showing you what What's the problem right now? The block in the way right now in May is that the masculines are feeling worse and worse every day. But that's actually working for the connection because it's helping them to realize what they do not want. So every day in that karmic relationship, they feel worse and worse. Every day they feel worse and worse because they're not with you and they know they need to change. So what's working for the connection that sorry, please forgive me. Wow, forgiveness. So forgiveness is working for the connection apologies. So if you've been working on forgiving your twin divine feminine, that's working for the connection right now. If you've been forgiving yourself, forgiving the karmic partner, forgiving the, the universe, forgiving God, that's working for the connection because forgiveness heals. And remember, love does not hold any record of wrongs because love does not judge your whole grudges. Isn't this a powerful message? Because sorry is the answer. That's what's working for the connection. So what's working against the connection is feeling bad about things, things that you've done, wanting to apologize. And when you apologize and say, sorry, it works for the connection. So again, I'm seeing this as the masculine returning to the feminine with an apology. The masculine's wanting to make things right. The masculine's wanting to fix it. But feminines, you also realize that they don't need to do that because it's already forgiven in spiritual truth. So forgive and heal. So what's next for the connection? Look at this. We've got worried and we've got build. So first of all, it says you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. So the angel saying this is what needs to go. You need to let go of that burden and stop carrying around the weight of the world. Now, feminines, I also feel that this is what you're building because you're building a solid foundation. 
you realise that you'd like to work together to have stability. So working as a team with the universe, with other twin flames, with your twin is what builds the connection. Replacing that worry or that doubt or that fear with faith, hope and positivity. So you're realising that you have to work together. So instead of blaming them and judging them and dredging up the past and going over the past, it's time to take control and work on building the future to let go of the weight of the world. So we do that by taking control of what we can control, like our own thoughts and our own feelings and our own emotions, focusing on joy and happiness, waking up in this energy every day where we're thinking, wow, this is going to be a great day, surrendering the struggles to heaven, stopping thinking about what they're thinking and focus on what you're thinking, letting go of the fears around timings or reunion believing it will happen. So see how these cards came out for a reason. Okay, so I'm not including them in the reading because obviously they haven't jumped out of the, the deck, but they moved on top of the deck. So they're important because the angel saying what's working for the connection right now is building that solid foundation. And you do that through connecting in dreams, through sign synchronicities, telepathy, connecting on the 5D. You do this by talking to your angels and guides and asking for their help and support. You do this by working together as a team with other divine feminines in the community section, you know, on comments and being around other like-minded beings who build you up instead of knocking you down, realizing where you want to spend your time and your energy, wanting to create. And this is also because these are men in this picture, you know, I'm seeing this as masculine energy becoming stronger. And I spoke about that earlier today. So letting go of the worried energy, replacing it with faith, with power, with the connection with heaven. So if you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world or on your shoulder right now, if you feel drained, tired, if you feel, you know, exhausted, ask yourself why. And the angels will say to you, it's because you need a break. You're carrying around their pain. You're carrying around other people's pain. Shield yourself better. If you've been having shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain, you're carrying the weight of the world on. You may be worried about guilt. You may be thinking about the past. You may be worried about finances, worried about stability. And that's what's being built. So if you've seen 1212, this is why. So release that burden today by giving it to heaven. What's next for the connection is releasing the worries so you can build the foundation. You're building the foundation. A lot of you have been finding the channel lately. So you may have come to the channel feeling worried. Worried about the future, carrying around the weight of the world on your shoulders. Feeling tired, exhausted, drained because you're thinking about the when. Focused on what they are thinking, focused on timings. And you're saying right now is the time to build that future. To build the stability through the lessons you're going through. By realising it's about forgiveness because forgiveness heals. So if you found this channel because you've been blaming everything on your twin. Or maybe you've watched readings before where they've blamed everything on the mask and then said how bad everything is. Now you're realizing that love is unconditional. This love is unconditional. It does not hold any record of wrongs because it doesn't judge and it doesn't hold grudges. There's nothing in that because that just makes us feel jealous and envious and angry. And we go over how bad everything is and how worse it all is. But you have a choice today to step up and fight for what you want and be a stronger person by realizing you can do this, that you have help and support along the way, that people are here to help you or angels are giving you that helping hand. The people on the channel here, your soul family are giving you that helping hand. Listening to this reading has given you the power to step up, to realize that your masculine will apologize to you, but usually it comes to you when you no longer need it. Because you've already forgiven and you feel at peace. And that's what they want you to know. So I'm also going to bring in the divine timing card. So what's working for the connection? Look at this. Raise your vibration because you are coming together. What's being released right now is a feeling, a healing. Look at this. Release and release. Two messages. Not yet. So trust the not yet because it's bringing in forward motion and there's a cleansing. So ignore the dates on these cards. This is me setting the intention. What's next for the connection? A cleansing. What's next for the connection is a forward motion, a release, a release of the things that need to go so you can come together. So keep raising your vibration and you do that through forgiveness and healing by working through the challenges, envy, jealousy, struggle, 
realizing you are enough that things are getting better. So instead of feeling worse every day, say I feel better every day. Every day I release pain and I feel strong because I know that things are working for the connection. Everything that's happening to me is working for the connection because love does not hold any record of wrongs because it's unconditional love and it does not judge or hold grudges because we're all learning. I'm learning, they are learning and we're all moving forwards where we're meant to be. So what's next for the connection is forgiveness, healing, a coming together and a release. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.